You know that show, The Bachelor, the one where there's one guy and there's like 25 women and they're all competing to be his true love and then maybe get married at the end? And it's really horribly disgusting and often misogynistic and all the women are really catty and it's just a bad time all around? Well, I auditioned for it! Right? Yeah. So the past few weeks, The Bachelor's been doing their national casting tour across all of Canada. They've been traveling the country, you know, stopping in in the major cities. And a friend of mine um, won a contest to be the first in line for their Winnipeg stop. Or she got to skip the line, go right ahead. It was called the Leap the Love Line contest. You go leap the line, find your true love, yeah. Uh, but she didn't want to do it. She was like, hey, Leah, you want to take my interview to be on The Bachelor? Do it for me? So I go in for my interview, it's at the fanciest hotel in the whole city, I go with my friend Sophie. Everyone I saw there was very, very dressed up. A lot of like prom dresses, a lot of stilettos, a lot of people that had clearly just had their hair and makeup professionally done. So Sophie and I are on the elevator and these two other women get on. Um, one's about my age, the other is a bit older, she's maybe in her 30s, mid to late 30s. They're both very, very dressed up. Uh, we take the elevator up to the floor together and then Sophie and I and the woman about my age, I'll go into this one area. And the woman turns to Sophie and me and she says, Oh my god, did you see that woman on the elevator with us? What a cow! Why is she even here? Who's she trying to kid? So that was a good sign. Sign that, you know, people are going to be friendly and um, not overly catty. And yeah, no, that, that kind of put me off right at the beginning. So I went in for my interview. And I'm actually just going to reenact my interview for you here. So when I'm being the interviewer, I'm going to wear these incredibly stylish sunglasses. And when I'm being me, I am going to wear this leaf crown that I made. Hi, thank you so much for coming in. It's so great to see you here. Oh, I am so excited for this interview to start. So tell me, what's one thing that makes you really happy? Um, children, I guess. Yeah, I, I really love children. I guess, yeah, they definitely make me happy. And what's something that makes you really angry? Um, I'm gonna have to say when people are cruel to me. Yeah, or just to anyone in general. Cruelty is, yeah, cruelty makes me angry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and what's something that makes you really sad? Feeling alone, definitely. Um, y you know, like it's a horrible feeling, feeling like no one's there for you, or feeling that you're unloved. And of course, it's not true, and I know that there always are people there for me, and that I always am loved, but of course everyone feels really alone sometimes, and I think that's really a, a really awful feeling, and that makes me really sad. Of course, yeah. Absolutely. So let me ask you, if you're selected as a contestant, you're going to be living in a mansion with 24 other women, and you'll all be competing for the same thing. How does that make you feel? Um, excited, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I get along well with people, and I, I'd love the opportunity to make some new friends, and I think, um... The fact that we'd all be competing for the same thing is something that we could really bond over. Aw, oh, great. Well, thanks so much for coming in. Your answers were really honest. Yeah, so that's pretty much how my interview went. Uh, the producer, I kind of um, made him out to seem kind of uh, crazy and ugh, j in right there, but um, he was actually really fantastic and nice, and I was very happy to meet him. I enjoyed talking to him. But it was a very, very interesting experience, the whole thing, seeing all the other girls that were there to try out, and just this atmosphere, you know, the whole... I'm auditioning for a reality TV show. What? Re really? Really? Are you sure? What? But now about this contract I said I was going to come back to. Just going to read from my trusty computer here. The producer may disclose any information regarding the applicant's private, personal, and public life, personal relationships with third persons, confidences and secrets with family, friends, significant others, including without limitation, physical appearance, personal characteristic and habits, both physical and mental, medical treatment and history, sexual history, educational and employment history, military history, criminal investigations, charges and records, personal views and opinions about life, the world, politics, religion, and the like. So they are allowed to collect any of that information about all of that stuff, about my, my sexual history, my personal relationships, my secrets, my relationships with my family and friends, anything. And they can share it with whoever they want, anyone. They can, they can put it on TV and they can just say what they want. But wait, it gets more fun too. Applicants acknowledge that the company's use of this personal information and recordings may be embarrassing, unfavorable, humiliating, and or derogatory, and or may betray him or her in a false light. So they are allowed to just blatantly lie about us and also say derogatory things about us. I can go on the show and they can be like, hey, she's a whore. And they can make things up. They can just blatantly be like, oh, she kills babies. She steals toys from orphans, whatever. And they can say it. And there's nothing I can do because I 
signed this contract. You know, reality TV is an interesting phenomenon, and as entertaining as that experience was of auditioning for The Bachelor, I think I'm done with reality TV. I think in the future I'm gonna stay as far away as possible from it. Also, sorry that this is the first video I've made in like four months. There's more coming soon, I promise.